Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is going to be on this look. Um, this is part of my... It, it's become like part of the routine now. I just check my teeth every time I do my intro because I seem to constantly be eating pounds and pounds of lipstick. But, moving on. So this is one of, or this is the next look in my um, Halloween looks for this year. I wanted to do some that had special effects as well as some that can be achieved with things that you have already in your makeup uh, kit. So today, no special effects. The only special thing I guess you can say is the lashes as well as this gold pigment. But I know that there are a lot of really bright um, and really pigmented gold shadows. I believe Sugar Pill has one. Um, so yeah, there are um, some products that I have shown you in this video and then there are some that I have not just because I know that a couple of the shadows that I used were discontinued. Um, and I'm going to show you one right now just so you guys can see, but this is one of the BH uh, Cool Matte Series um, shadows. It was one of their single shadows, so I used three of those today, but you can definitely use um, other products that look similar to it. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it came out. I think this is something that is pretty simple to recreate. Um, you're, you just kind of have to be a little bit messy with it, I guess you can say, um, and not so focused on everything being super blended and perfect on the face. So yeah. I hope that you guys enjoy and or I hope that you guys enjoy <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoy and if you guys did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as clicking the subscribe button down below I really appreciate you guys I really appreciate all the feedback that I'm getting as well as um, the new subscribers that have been subscribing to our little family here so yeah just wanted to say that really quickly and without further ado here's the tutorial Okay guys, so I already did my face makeup. Um, I already did my eyebrows and I already primed my eyes. Now I'm just going in with a color, um, with an eyeshadow that is close to my skin tone. Um, and I'm just setting my, um, my entire eyelid just to get ready for the rest of the colors that we are going to put on. And now I'm going in with um, just like a soft brown shade. I didn't show this one on um, on camera just because it was one of the BH ones that I originally mentioned. Um, but this is basically the same color as the soft brown in the Lorac Pro 2 palette. But I have already hit pan and there's like nothing left of that color um, in that palette. So I just decided to use this instead. But it's just a light brown shade. I'm taking that in the crease. Um, on my lower lash line as well as the area um, that you would normally put a highlight between the eyebrow and the crease but on the inner portion of my eye just to kind of make it a little bit more sunken in and mysterious. And I'm so sorry if I sounded a little creepy on that last part, but um, now I'm going in with a kind of like a rusty shade, um, and I'm just going over the exact same area where we put the brown, um, just to deepen it a little bit more. Again, this is another BH shade. I use about three of them in this entire tutorial, so you won't see them pop up that much, but it was basically a light brown, a rusty red shade, and a pure grape uh, color. So I'm just taking that on the exact same spots and then now I'm going in with that purple color that I had just said. Um, and you're just going to take the purple shade into the crease only. Um, and then you're going to take it a little bit on the lower lash line as well. But you're not going to blow it out as much as we did with the rusty color or with the brown color.
Now I'm going in with Plum from the Lorac Pearl 2 palette. It's um, it's basically a plum shade. And I'm taking that where we had previously put the rusty color as well as the brown color. So that one is going to go in a little bit closer to the inner portion of the eye. Um, where, uh, like right under my eyebrow, as you guys can see, it's starting to get darker in that area. Um, as well as throughout my crease and on my under eye basically I'm just um, piling on shades just to add dimension and um, a little more depth because this is supposed to look like a very mysterious um, very sneaky look I guess you can say <laughs> um, I don't know if I could describe it as that but you guys get what I'm saying I'm not just sounding weird hopefully but yeah so I'm just taking that on a big fluffy brush, basically the same brush that we've been using throughout the tutorial already. This is by Crown, um, mainly, or not mainly, but pretty much all the brushes that I use are Crown brushes. I, like I've said before, they are my favorites. Um, so I'm just using that and then I'm going in with a mix of all the shades. Uh, you're going to see I just keep piling it up or piling it on as um, the tutorial goes on and I'm just kind of taking that down in um, kind of like think of it like if you had mascara on and you were crying the lines that it would kind of make on your face that's basically what you want to do so just point it right under the, um, the iris of your eye Now I'm going in with Muse from the Lime Crime Venus palette and I'm taking that through the crease as well. Um, again, the same areas that we put it before um, and again just with a fluffy brush just to add more color and depth and dimension. Um, so basically the colors that you would need to recreate this specific look would be reds, purples and browns. And now I'm going in with my favorite eyeliner. As you guys know, it is the NYX Slide On Pencil in black. Um, I'm just taking that on my waterline, on my tight line, and then I'm also taking a little bit of that on my lower lash line as well as my upper lash line because we are going to blend it out with a stiff pencil brush in a sec. Um, so I'm just taking that again to add a little bit more darkness to the eye, a little bit more of um, I know that I keep using this word a little bit more of mystery. You want your eyes to look very sultry and enchanting, I guess you can say. So that's what we're doing now. And then we're going to go over um, the lid space as well as the eyeliner that we just put on on the top. Um, we're going to go over it with a color in a second. Um, but right now I'm just putting on a little bit of black to kind of set that eyeliner. And then right after this, I'm going to go in with a shimmery brown from the Lorac Pro 2 palette as well as a black. And now what you're seeing is just me blending it out. Um, and I do, uh, I do elongate it on the bottom just a little bit, as you guys can see. And like I said before, I'm just going in with this uh, shimmery brown and then I'm going to top that with black. And throughout those steps, you will see me just um, blend and then pile a little bit more of the color on and then blend and then pile a little bit more of the color on. You definitely don't have to add the black to this. You can definitely just do the shimmery brown, but I just wanted it to be a little bit darker. And all the colors that I add to my lid or to my crease or anything like that, I do transfer them to the bottom. So basically you just want to use the same colors and um, go over all the shapes that are on the bottom. The little teardrop shape that we created as well as your lower lash line. And then this is the part that's really going to make the look stand out. I used a pigment that is no longer uh, being manufactured, unfortunately, as I've mentioned before, because I have used these pigments before. 
Um, this company went out of business. The company was called Taylor Made Minerals. Um, unfortunately, it is no longer in business, so you can't get this specific pigment. But I know that there are a lot of brands that make golds, um, really vibrant golds. Um, golds. I can't. I can't say the word gold. Um, I know that there are a lot of brands that do make really beautiful golds. I know that one of them is Sugar Pill, so you can definitely check them out for a gorgeous gold. And basically, right now, what I'm doing is I just placed a little bit of the pigment with a little bit of all-nighter setting spray on my inner corner as well as those teardrop spots and I'm just going over it with a small um, eyeshadow shader brush and I'm just blending that out and not so much blending it out as really what I'm doing is softly diffusing it um, but when I do go um, with the wet pigment um, I top it with a little bit of the dry pigment um, just to really seal in that color and this is like one of those um, antique like green golds so it, it's definitely very very bright um, if you'd like you can go with a gold like this or something that looks a little bit more subdued I really like this one because it really pops and I think it just goes really well with the browns and the reds and um, the purples that we use and then I'm just defining around that gold with the black and the purple and a little bit of the red just to bring back some of that definition that we lost before. And then I'm just blending all around. Um, you could have left it the way that it was before, but I just wanted to bring down some of that purple and some of that black and red just a little bit more. And then here I'm using Wet n Wild's Liquid Katsu Lipstick in Video Vixen. Um, I really, really like this color, but I really, really don't like the applicator, which sucks because I think it's just me that I have weird shaped lips or something, but I just don't really like the applicator, but I do love this color and I use it very often and I've used it, um, I think I've used it before on this channel actually. But I just think it's so pretty. Um, it's really, really cheap. It's very, very good quality. It lasts a super long time on your lips. And um, every time that I've worn it, I've gotten compliments. So I'm putting that on now. And then I am going to add a little bit of the same gold that we used on our eyes right in the center of my bottom lip. And then I'm just blending it out with that same little shader brush. So feel free to do that. Or you can just leave it like this. I really liked it with the gold and I had a little bit of wet pigment left so I didn't really want to waste it. So that's why I used it and yeah, so you can definitely leave it like this or add a little bit of the gold like I'm doing right now. And then now I'm just adding a little bit more blush um, on my temples as well as um, my cheeks. Okay guys, so that's the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. I have a few more looks coming before Halloween gets here and i think that you're really going to like them so um yeah i hope that you guys again enjoyed them don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up before you leave i appreciate you guys so 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 much and i'll see you next time bye guys guys do you remember that movie that like i think it was dude where's my car that they're like and then and then and then that is literally what I sound like this entire video I just wanted to add that because I'm hearing this back right now and I keep going into every single voiceover piece with and then and then so yeah if you guys counted how many times I said that leave it in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up but now I'm really out love you guys <laughs> bye